So today we want to kick off something new that we want to begin doing on a semi-regular basis, just a little segment that we want to call This Time Tomorrow. And the idea is, you remember last year we went through and did a series called Your Work Matters. And we talked about the fact that not only does what we do on Sunday morning count for the gospel and count for the kingdom, but what you and I do from Monday to Friday or from uh, Tuesday to Saturday, whatever your work week is, whatever you do during the week also matters for the kingdom of God. And so uh, periodically we want to interview different people in our congregation and talk to them about what they do during the week, and talk to them about how their work matters for the kingdom of God. And so today, let me introduce most of you know him, Rome Ventura. Let's give a warm welcome to Rome Ventura. Good morning, church. Rome Rome and Jackie served for three years as uh, one of our deacon couples, and so God has blessed them immensely. So Rome, what will you be doing? So right now it's about 10, 15 in the morning, on Sunday morning. What will you be doing this time tomorrow? Sleeping. Just kidding, just kidding. Not the right answer, not the right answer. <laughs> I, actually, I own a uh, painting company, and I wear all the hats, except painter. So tomorrow's an admin day, so I'll be doing a lot of the paperwork, uh, invoicing and things of that nature, putting out proposals. Okay, so you guys do, you, do you paint businesses, we houses, paint houses, everything? We do residential and mostly commercial. Okay, so, so if I can just give him a shameless plug, his company painted our house, and they did a really good job, didn't they, Vicky? They did, they did a really good job. It's not like some loud color pink or anything like that. They, You're welcome. They, they, they did a really good job. <laughs> so, Rome, as you go to work on, on Monday morning, any Monday morning or Tuesday morning or whatever, what, whatever day of the week, how do you remind yourself that, that what you do is work for the Lord? It's not just earn a paycheck or... Or, or to do a job? How do you remind yourself that you actually work for the Lord? Well, first thing I do each and every day is I start the day off with prayer. Mm-hmm. And then I also try to do a devotional, which also puts me in the right state of mind, knowing that I'm working for the Lord. Cool, cool. And then so how do you, so as you get out, and so obviously I imagine there's, that there are tedious parts of your job. There's parts that you enjoy and parts that you don't enjoy. So even in the That's moments sure. that you don't enjoy what you're doing, how do you remind yourself, okay, this matters. I'm working for God. Colossians chapter 3, I'm not working for myself. Well, when the, when the situations come apart that I'm uncomfortable with, I remind myself and I look for the opportunity and ask myself, okay, God, what are you trying to show me through this? What opportunity are you giving me so that I can shine through this? Cool. Excellent. Excellent. So, so here's a great question, and, and especially with your line of work. How does your job enhance and bring value to God's creation? Uh, you know, um, we live in this world that's all the time keep, uh, decaying. So... Just as God restores us in our decay, in our sin, um, I have the opportunity to do that on properties. See, they're decaying, they're falling apart, we restore them, and we make them look better. Cool, how cool is that? So so decaying paint is a sign of the fact that we live in a sinful world. Absolutely. Yeah. Everything falls apart, but thank God for Jesus that he restores everything. Amen. Especially us. Amen. So I was even thinking about this as I was thinking about our conversation that all of the colors were created by God. So you're able to take all of these beautiful colors that God has created and actually use them to create a tapestry or an artwork just about every single day. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Um, you know, and you know, it, what amazes me all the time is that everybody has a different liking. So, you know, God has made us all different. And that's one of the beautiful things that we get, to, we get to explore and to share with everybody and let what it is that they like, what they're creative about, what they see, their vision, come to life. That's really cool. That's really cool. So how does your job advance the kingdom of God? I mean, you know, what I try and do, and the word that comes to mind, is integrity. You know, I, I try to do everything with God in mind, and I try to do everything as if God is watching me. So when I go out there, I don't want to be one of these contractors that you call don't show up. They, they leave jobs incomplete and everything else like that. So as working on to the Lord, I try to do the best that I can to fulfill what it is that I'm doing and give people confidence that there's still people out there that do a good thing. Amen. Amen. And then lastly, um, in your job, you, you obviously interact with a lot of people. 
So what opportunities has God given you as you paint houses, as you meet clients, as you fulfill your obligations? What opportunities has God given you to minister or maybe even share the gospel with people that you've come in contact with? Well, you know, taking into consideration all the other questions that you asked, that's the bottom line right there. That's what draws us. At, at the end of the day, that's what we want to do. We want to witness to, to who God is and why we are the way that we are. So I have the opportunity all the time to explain to my to my employees why it is that we want to be a company of integrity is because we're working on to the Lord and Amen. we want to make a good example. Um, I also have an opportunity to develop relationships with people that don't have a relationship with God. Hmm. And I take it, the initiative to try and find out where they're at and develop relationships to, to have the opportunity to witness to them. Cool, excellent, excellent. Thank you, Rome. Hey, hey, by the way, if you want to look them up, it's, it's, it's about time. Is that what it's called? It's yeah, about it's a, time? it's about time painting. It's about time painting. It's so, about time you call so, me. It's about time you pay me my money. <laughs> <laughs> it's about time you had your house painted, so all of that. Let's give Rome a, a welcome. Thank you so much, Rome.